Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing the raptor in Jailbreak versus the real-life counterpart. When I say real-life counterpart, I really mean inside of like a Forza game, because that's the closest thing that we're going to get without me having to go buy an $85,000 car. I've done this once before with the snake, so if you've seen that video, you'll know how this video works. It's not going to be an exact race, it's just going to be a side-by-side -side comparison of like the speed, the acceleration, the launch, and the handling. I have it based on a highway in Forza and on the long strip that you would call the highway in Jailbreak. But before we get started, I want to thank you guys so, so much for 500 subscribers. I didn't think that we were going to make it to 500 subscribers so quickly. But it happened. I had that one video and now it's just blown up and I have 500 and I think 30 subscribers as I'm filming this right now. But yeah guys, I haven't been saying it in a lot of videos recently, but I am doing a Robux giveaway just like I did for 300 subscribers, but I'm doing it for 500 subscribers. So join the Discord, the link's going to be in the description for your chance to win $10 of Robux. But with that out of the way, I'm going to start showing you the comparisons. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see the Jailbreak Raptor actually has a better a launch speed. It count, went up to like 90 miles per hour and probably like, I would say like four seconds. But on the top in Forza, it's taking a lot longer to get there. And that's expected. Uh, a real car would be a lot heavier and would have less acceleration. The Jailbreak Raptor seems to have capped at around 100 miles an hour, but the uh, real life Raptor has actually just kept going and it hasn't hit top speed yet. Remember, this is the level 1 engine Jailbreak Raptor, and this is an unmodified, like, stock Raptor that you see in Forza right now. So the uh, real-life Raptor has reached the tunnel first, and I believe is actually going to exit the tunnel first, even though the tunnel in Forza is a little bit longer than the Jailbreak tunnel. So now we're coming up onto the straightaway. Uh, the Jailbreak Raptor is going to go along this dirt road right here just so we can... Compare it to the top where we don't even have to move. But it seems like the real life Raptor is a lot faster than the Jailbreak Raptor. So as the Jailbreak Raptor reaches the end, we can come to a conclusion that the real life Raptor is a lot faster than the in-game one. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the real life Raptor is faster than the Jailbreak one. So next, we're going to watch the level 5 engine Raptor versus a modified Raptor in real life. The launch speed is near identical, but with the Raptor and Jailbreak just being a little bit faster. I think this is due to its acceleration, because as you can see in the bottom, it accelerated a lot faster than the real life one. The Jailbreak Raptor, though, is topping off at around 135 miles an hour, but the real-life one is still accelerating and seems to be capping at around 180 miles per hour. Now, this is a 40 mile per hour difference, which is crazy, but as you can see in the top, we have shifted into fifth gear, and now we're hitting 190 on the speedometer. So now we're on the straightaway right here, and the real-life Raptor is still accelerating, and it's not even at top speed yet. Because of how fast the real life Raptor is, I got a lot farther on the track and we had to swerve and we lost some top speed. But we hit the end and now it's time for the final review. Okay, so you've made it to the final review. This is kind of the segment. It's a new thing that I'm going to do and it's just where I give my final review as the title is. I give my final review of the whole thing. So first and foremost, I just want to say that the in-game Raptor of Jailbreak is a lot slower than the real-life one. The acceleration is very slow compared to the real-life one, but it does have a very good launch speed, and it's just like only seconds ahead of the real-life one. The speed of the level 1 Raptor is like super bad, and it tops off at 100 miles per hour, while the regular Raptor in real life is a lot faster and has a lot higher top speed. So the level 1 engine category will be going to the real life or Raptor. The acceleration is a lot better than the jailbreak one. The launch is a bit slower but still really good and the top speed is amazing. Alright so now we're going to move on to the level 5 engine or the modified version. I did a lot of modification testing to get the best one that I thought fit the level 5 engine, so I ultimately found the one that you saw in the video. So the launch, acceleration, and top speed of the real-life Raptor 
was amazing. It was a lot better than the unmodified version, and that's expected, you know, because it's a modified car. But the level 5 Raptor, it actually could compete a little bit. I could see how they were both pretty good. Um, just the top speed of the real-life Raptor is a lot higher than the jailbreak Raptor. So the modified category is ultimately going to go to the real-life Raptor. It was a lot better than the in-game Raptor of Jailbreak, and I think just deserves it a lot more. But anyways, guys, this has all just been for fun, and uh, if you agree with me, tell me down below in the comments, and if you disagree with me, tell me down below in the comments, and give me a reason why. I want to hear some really good arguments in the comments about my claims, and I really want to see what you guys think. Also, tell me if you think that I could have done the speed test any better, or if you think that the Jailbreak Raptor really needs a buff. Alright, so you made it to the end of the video. Now I'm going to tell you about the Robux giveaway that I'm going to be doing. So, a long time ago, when I hit 300 subscribers, I did a $10 Robux giveaway. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for 500 subscribers, which we just hit. And so, if you join the Discord, I'm going to put everyone's name in a wheel. And a winner will be randomly chosen. More instructions will be in the Discord server, and I'll have a link to the Discord server in the pinned comments and also in the description. So, if you want some Robux, and it's completely free, just join my Discord server, come hang out and have a good time, and you can win some Robux along the way. I'm going to be giving out more Robux giveaways whenever we hit major milestones, so I'll probably do another one at maybe 700 or 800 subscribers. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to tell me your arguments about the speed test in the comments. And also, don't forget to join the Discord server so you can win yourself some Robux. Thanks for watching.